Hi, my name's Gough. Recently we acquired a real-time PCR machine from Applied Biosystems, the 384 World Block VS7. Um, in this video I'll show you how we go about perpetuating these 384 World Plates by hand using tools from Bioflow. So the first step is to make up the master mix and transfer it to a reservoir. We use these low volume single use disposable reservoirs. So here I'm adding the master mix for my gene of interest one. The 16 channel Viaflow pipette is then set to repeat dispense 7.5 microliters 12 times. These are the specially designed grip tips. Here you can see the layout of my 384 well plate. I want my gene of interest master mix to go on the left hand side. After checking the level of fluid in each of the tips, I then plate it out 12 times. Now I'm ready to load my master mix for the gene of interest 2 onto the right hand side of the 384 well plate. So next I need to get my 64 samples all lined up in Eppendorf tube racks ready for the Viaflow Voyager. So this is a pipette that has adjustable tip spacing. So I'll be able to pick up samples from these tubes and then drop them off into the 384 well plate. So now I need to set the Viaflow Voyager pipette to repeat dispense 2.5 microliters in triplicate. So this pipette has adjustable tip spacing that will allow me to pipette straight from the Eppendorf tubes. So here I'm loading my first set of 8 samples in triplicate for gene of interest 1 and then also gene of interest 2. Now I'll move on to the next set of 8. Now to save some time, this video is sped up to about 8 times the normal speed. Now although you could use a liquid handling robot to do a lot of this pipetting for you, these robots are only good for routine processing. If I'm regularly changing the layouts of my plates or sample numbers, I find that I have greater control using these pipettes instead. In the same time needed to program the robot, I can prepare a 384 world plate by hand. This experiment's taken less than 10 minutes to set up. I always spin my plates down using a plate spinner and then uh, the plates are ready for running on the VS7. Hopefully you can see how easy it was to pipette these 384 well plates by hand using the 16 channel pipette and the Viaflow Voyager. Thanks for watching.